Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the most impressive moments of the past week. What side would you pick in the battle between air and ground vehicles? Or maybe their their own worst enemies? Let's see. While flying their bullet-ridden yuck, Taze Iskender makes a neat turn and drops the bombs to lighten the machine for air combat. Smart move. Every kilo matters when the stakes are high. What the pilot didn't know, though, is that their bombs would fly two kilometers away, hit a moving, a moving target, and wipe an enemy vehicle off the face of the earth. Here's a response from the ground. After their first shot missed, this tanker checks the enemy flight trajectory, takes an enormous lead while waiting for the reload, aims above an enemy tank, waits, fire. What an amazing hit. The proximity fuse round takes away both the tank and the plane. Well, the player named Kills truly, mm, kills. Let's raise the stakes. This Mirage 2000 pilot locks onto a ground target, launches a missile, and pitches up. Meanwhile, a small gate to hell opens up below. Instead of a single machine, no less than three get consumed in black smoke and sparks. Ah, oh, man, why would you group so tight? I mean, it's cold, sure, but... Hmm. The enemy team tried so hard but wouldn't capture this point, not even with two players. Or with three. Why? Well, right above them at the edge of the bridge, there's a tiny little L3 hiding. Just chilling there, not turning a hair. Oh, it seems like the T-34 got suspicious. No biggie, though. Simply drive away from the edge. Nope, no one here. The tanker started to feel sorry for them and dropped off the bridge to show their belly. But they still couldn't find them. Really? They never found the L-3. And now you're in for an insanely beautiful duel. It's more than just the stunning sunset and the golden gleams on the plane's fuselage. See, Scromart here playfully dodges the lethal anti-air missiles and makes an enemy Su-25 catch one instead, destroying the opponent with their own tools, dashing. And now, as is tradition, we'll check out live War Thunder. Here's a charming camo for the Mirage 2000 CS5. Actually, there's even three of them. A reserved white, a warmer one, and a relaxed one in cooler hues. What a style for hot skirmishes. Thank you for your amazing job. You know, it's so great seeing players ask each other questions in the comments and getting extensive, detailed responses. Props to everyone helping the less experienced tankers, pilots, and captains. You're the ones who make the community great. As always, we're looking forward to your replays. Bye.